Hey everybody, how you doing out there? I'm doing my podcast. Yes, I'm doing my podcast. This, I, I do one a day, one a day podcast. Sometimes two or three, but today I'm going to do one podcast today. Um, I'm going to talk about this Rudy Giuliani. A lot of you people who are living in New York City know who he is. He's the guy who used to know. Well, I shouldn't say used to know uh, Donald Trump. They're waiting outside his apartment. That's right, in New York City of all places, New York City. Uh, that's where Rudy Giuliani is living. In this apartment in New York City. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have to put on the title of the video. I know where he lives. So, so he lives in New York City, an apartment in New York City, Rudy Giuliani. Uh, you might have heard about, he knows Donald Trump as well as uh, Roger Stone. You may have heard about Roger Stone as well. Due to pe pe <laughs> I can't say it well. Pepper our uh, popularity. Uh, Roger Stone, who, uh, Worked with Donald Trump for quite a while, I think in the early 90s. Uh, what else? So, I want to talk about this Rudy Giuliani. We're going to talk about, they had a search warrant at his apartment, according to the title of the video. Uh, a search warrant, if a lot of you uh, scholars or uh, uh, lawyers out there know what a warrant is, um, you have to have probable cause. Now, this is what I heard earlier on CNN. You need probable cause to get a search warrant. Uh, the police should know this. Uh, you need probable cause to have a warrant to, uh, to anybody's place in apartment. Uh, so that's what they did. They did a search warrant. That means they could seize anything that's valuable to, to their uh, case, essentially. Uh, they could t seize your phone. I don't know if they want to seize your phone. But uh, they could seize everything that you own, essentially. Everything that you own in your world, you know, they take up, they'll take anything that's least valuable for the case. Uh, they'll take up everything. They'll take everything. Don't worry. They don't take everything. The word it means they'll take some things to, uh, just in case they need in the court system or a trial. That's really truly yeah. They're at an apartment in New York City. That's right. In New York City. That's where the place is. In New York City. And uh, the media is camping out outside the, his apartment. Did you hear what I say? Outside his apartment. Have uh, you ever been to New York City? You have big apartments down there in New York City. They don't have houses. They don't have like small houses. They have apartments. So they're uh, one of these fancy dancy apartments, shall we say? Rudy Giuliani is at. And the media is camping out. That's right. They camp out for a, a scoop. They call it scoop or news tip. They're camping right out here. I'm watching on a live stream. Guess where I'm watching that? On YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube, on a live stream. And they're getting a thousand people watching this at this very moment. Uh, a thousand people watching a live stream and a live chat. So watching a live chat and the live stream at the same time, if you know what I mean. Uh, so... They're just uh, Rudy Giuliani, as long as uh, as uh, him and Roger Stone, they know uh, Donald Trump very well. They work with him, I should say, work with him as a client. They call them clients. Um, if you ever work with somebody, they usually call themselves the clients. I'm working with my client. Uh, so yeah, that's what the Rudy Giuliani and Roger Stone are kind of like. Roger Stone, he's kind of a bit of a funny guy. Uh, if you ever seen him before. Uh, Roger Stone, which uh, they mentioned his uh, name early this morning. Uh, so, Rudy Giuliani, these are the people that know Donald Trump, I think, personally. Uh, they worked with him uh, for quite a while, early 90s, sometime in the early 90s. And uh, and the media is camped out. Guess what? You heard what I said? They camped out uh, Rudy Giuliani's apartment. This apartment, not a house. Just bear that in mind. Apartment, big apartments in New York City. Have you ever lived down in New York City? Big apartments. They're like dwellings. They call them dwellings. Uh, so, so the media is camped out out of Rudy Giuliani's apartment, and they did a search warrant. That's right, a search warrant. Uh, so there you go, folks. They got a search warrant. Uh, you have to have probable cause to have a, to have a search warrant. Uh, the police should know this. Uh, for anybody's place, anybody's place or any uh, place of business, they would say. Uh, so that's what they did. They usually uh, they don't 
to seize everything in your possession. They, you, they originally used things for the, uh, the, the case, the case that they're working on, and they seize that kind of material. Uh, so they want to build up a case. They call it building up a case for you in the court system. They want to know everything about you. Essentially, if you want to do a Wikipedia page, they'll, they'll know who you, you, who you are. They'll just say where you, where's your residency, what uh, siblings you have, what parents do you have. Uh, they, they'll know where you live somewhere in the United States or Canada. Or uh, for that matter, yeah, just go on Wikipedia. They'll tell everything about that person, everything. It's like the, it's like an open door to everything about your life, essentially about your life, and from the past and present time. And they'll dig up a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of information about you, and that's scary. Remember, that's scary, folks. Uh, so they'll they'll dig up uh, stuff from the past and from the from the uh, from the future. From a search warrant. And that's what they did. So they're camping out outside Rui Giuliani. I'll put that in a big title just so everybody gets it. Uh, out of this apartment. And they got a search warrant. These are federal p agents. Remember, these are federal agents. You know what that means, folks. Uh, so they did a search warrant. They need probable cause to do this, just so you know. Probable cause before they do a search warrant. The judge has to sign it. Everybody else has to sign it to do it, the search warrants. Uh... So yeah, there you go, folks. I'll be talking about Rui Giuliani, and the next next podcast I'll be talking about this woman who's 72 years old, who uh, uh, apparently I won't give you great detail on it. Uh, she has dementia, if I'm not mistaken. She had dementia. I mean, that was a disease of hers. Uh, uh, but uh, they stopped her, uh, just a regular stop, just a regular pedestrian stop kind of thing. Uh, and uh, they asked her to stop twice. She didn't. And uh, she went down the ground like a, how do you say it? <laughs> anyway, I'll talk about it in the next podcast. Now, uh, guess what? The daughter is speaking out on it. Uh, the daughter. So she's really, she's kind of like, you know, crying about this sort of situation. Uh, so, so there you go, folks. That's the only information you need to know. Um, I want to get this, uh, I want to get this out of the open. Uh, this daughter of hers. Is speaking out on the media about her uh, parent, I don't know if it was a mother or uh, some incident around last year of June. This is middle of June of last year. Uh, this incident happened. Uh, I think she was coming from Kmart and just walked along the, you know, where the side of the road was. Uh, not side of the world, I shouldn't say side of the road, but uh, just, you know, where the sidewalks are, but wasn't no sidewalks there. Uh, she was walking around the, the grass area, just near the street area where the grass is. Um, and uh, they got her, and uh, <laughs> she went down like a fetal position, and they cuffed her with some, you know, cuffs. And it was, a, it was kind of like a little scuffle going on. And uh, it, was, it was horrendous. There was a woman uh, officer there at the time, and the guy uh, officer, and uh, the person who was on first, as they say, first on the scene was the, the, the man police officer. He just got over his police vehicle, told the woman to stop for, not once but twice, uh, and she didn't. Uh, she didn't comply, as they say. She didn't comply. So the best thing he could do is take her down and put her in cuffs and see what uh, what was wrong with her, basically. Uh, and, you know. So there you go, folks. Uh, I'll talk about her on the next podcast, but I will talk about Rudy Giuliani and Roger Stone. You may have heard about Roger Stone. Uh, he's the guy who used to work with uh, uh, Donald Trump, but isn't now. Uh, way back in the early 90s. Uh, so, so there you go, folks. I'm watching a live stream, a live stream feed of Rui Jan outside his apartment. And I'll put that in the big title. The feds, the, uh, as they said, the federal agents went in there with the search warrant. Uh, that means everybody has to sign the search warrant knowing that they did it. Yeah. So, sometimes with a search warrant, they have to find something that's very important to the case. With a search warrant. So, there you go, folks. That means a lot of police power. And you know what I mean. It's a lot of police power there. Uh, so, yeah, the, usually the judge has to sign, sign the search warrant so, you, so they can go there and do a search warrant on you. So, it could be a little, a little hectic, you know. So...
So anyway, I'll, I'll talk about it further on the next podcast, but I'm going to sound in stereo, not model sounding, in stereo sounding, okay? Stereo sounding. So it's right left, uh, you know, microphone. So it sounds sonophonic sound, or as they say, stereo sound, uh, dynamic sound. So uh, it's what you call stereo sound in, uh, in equipment sometimes. Um, oh, by the way, I want to tell you guys, if you want to ever look around for a sound mixer, go look for, go for the, is a solid state uh, logic. They call it solid state logic. It's a, a it's an England England kind of a mixer. They have big mixing consoles, the uh, uh, size of a room, and uh, uh, they call them solid state logic for a reason. And uh, they're from England. They made these uh, mixing boards from England, and uh, a big mixing console. They have every functionality on these things. Every functionality you can think of. You can pan. You can pan the microphones. You can always pan the microphones. Uh, to right and left, and you can do EQ, they call it EQ for a reason, uh, so you're going to go high, low, or mid-range, mid-range is usually two or three knobs of mid-range, uh, that's the EQ in sound, uh, and uh, the, so what you could do on a sound, mixing soundboard, you can reroute your microphones, reroute the sound of your microphones to other channels, other mixing channels. Uh, on a mixing board, there's channel strips. They call them channel strips. From all the way from the input all the way down to the faders. So, channel strips. They call them channel strips uh, in a mixing console or a sound mixer. So, it's called a channel strip. All the way from the channel strip, from the gain level to all the way down to the faders. These are faders to make the volume go loud or soft. So... That's what it does in a mixing console. Uh, so, faders are kind of like... So they call themselves the channel strip from the input from all the way down to the faders. So yeah, uh, you have the gain levels, you have the compressing uh, uh, knob, that's a compressing knob. Um, it's for uh, basically to smooth out the sound, kind of smooth out the sound. So, and uh, yeah, so mix a, a mix of board sound. It does a whole lot of things, but they call it this uh, channel strip. It's called a channel strip on the mixing or a sound mixer. Uh, all the way from the input, all the way down to the uh, faders. So, there you go, folks. And you can uh, reroute, uh, they call it uh, sound rerouting. You can uh, reroute your, mix your inputs to some other channel to the mixer. So... Just bear that in mind, folks. Just bear this in mind. We are watching you, Giuliani. The uh, federal agents went in there with a search warrant. That means search in your place uh, to find evidence uh, about you or about someone. So there you go. I'll be out of here for now. Until then, I'll be out of here. Uh, I want to say ciao to everybody who's listening to this. Uh, so ciao for now. Bon viaggi. Be on your merry way. And if you like this podcast, hit that like button. You know the deals like they say. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And sooner or later, I will have the merchandise. Sooner rather than later. I'll put out some merchandise for you people. They call it merch. And uh, they call it merch. Uh, I want to publicize my YouTube channel by putting merchandise out there. Uh, it's like Infowars on like Alex Jones does. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so they're... they're they're camped outside Rui Giuliani's apartment in New York City. That's where all the media people are now at this very moment. Uh, uh, it's a lot of a lot of media people there. So I'll better let you guys go. I'll see you guys on the next podcast. Until then, uh, have a good day. And my final thoughts are that be good to your neighbors and have, have a good day.